Um, so tell us how you got involved with this project. Uh, well, Erwin Stoff, the producer, brought me a first draft of the script of Edge of Tomorrow. And, you know, you have a character played by Tom Cruise who uh, is uh, somebody who's been promoting the war for other people to go fight. And, you know, like it's a video game, creating those commercials and, and like put on the suit of armor and you'll go kill aliens and, you know, it'll be fun. Uh, and then he gets sent to the front lines himself, much to his horror, and he's forced to strap on the suit of armor, and it's, it's not fun at all. He's scared out of his mind. You have the fun of, of Tom Cruise, who's, you know, not being able to do something, right? Because every movie he's in, he's always great at things. It's like, it's amazing to watch him really be bad and not know how to work the suit of armor and accidentally switch it into Japanese, and now he, he really can't control it and scared out of his mind, and, you know, in this massive battle where aliens have taken over all of Europe and he's plunged right into the front lines of it and then he's killed 10 minutes into the movie. I'm like, whoa, that is, I did not see that coming and then he, you know, giving away the premise of the movie but it's, you know, live, die, repeat, the premise of the movie I think has been given away elsewhere and he wakes up the day before the battle and you're like, well, that is a, that is such a cool moment. It's like, that's like, I was like, I'm gonna make this movie just for that moment. And then can, can the film keep going? Can it, can it top itself? And it brings in Emily Blunt, and she has this incredible character who uh, is, you know, she's not just some sidekick. She's somebody who used to have the superpower and has lost it. And the world is expecting her to deliver a victory that she no longer can deliver. She knows we're going to lose, and there's nothing she can do about it. And she literally has the, the weight of the world on her shoulders. And... You know, that's why the casting of Emily Blunt was so critical, because she is, um, you know, she, yes, yes, she can play this tough warrior, but I also needed the vulnerability, because she, you know, that she cannot deliver, the world's counting on her to deliver victories she cannot deliver until she meets Tom. And then that's, you know, so just when I thought you couldn't top the idea of the Tom Cruise getting killed 10 minutes in the movie, you have the fun of somebody without the superpower learning how to control and manipulate Tom, basically controlling Tom's superpower. Uh, so it's not just, you know, a guy with a superpower, it's somebody else, you know, controlling that person with a superpower, and that, that makes it a real two-hander. And so the story just kept getting better and better and until, you know, this amazing finale. And so that's why I fell in love with, with the, the project when Erwin Stoff brought me Edge of Tomorrow. It's a great story. Um, now, obviously, there's a lot of aliens in this film, and we've seen aliens in other films, but these yeah. are very unique, and these, these mimics. Did you, how did you conceive the look yeah. of these aliens? Yeah, you know, so I'm, I'm not a science fiction guy, not a fantasy guy. You know, I, I like making movies about people. So, uh, you know, this Edge of Tomorrow obviously has a massive scale to it. Aliens have taken over all of Europe, mainland Europe, and they're poised to cross the English Channel into into England and then from there cross over into America. And so we're, we're holding them at bay in, in Europe, but they're about to break out. And Tom Cruise is, is plunged in and sent to the front lines, you know, having no idea how to fight. And so the design of the aliens for me were entirely about most antagonizing Tom Cruise's character. You know, it started with character. It was, yeah, Tom has, who's been, you know, selling the war you know, and tell, you know, convincing young soldiers to enlist, you know, and put on this suit of armor and you'll be a superhero. You'll be Iron Man. You get to go kill aliens in this suit of armor, this cool suit of armor. You know, suddenly finds himself in the front lines having to wear that suit of armor. And so I wanted to design an alien that if you were Tom Cruise, never having fought in your life, never having worn this suit of armor, plunged into the front lines of this epic battle, what would be the scariest possible thing you could confront? What would be the thing that you would want to just take that suit off and just take off running? And so I wanted to design an alien that was so fast that it suddenly made the suit of armor seem slow and so almost claustrophobic. And, uh, but for me, you know, movies are always about character. And so every decision, every design decision always came back to what would, be, what would bring out the best aspects of Tom Cruise's character, Emily Blunt's character. That's great. And speaking of this suit of armor, this exosuit, I, I, that I believe was a creation of yours as well. Yeah. And, and a lot of thought went into that. Can you tell us about that suit and these, these yeah. actors having to wear the suit? 
Yeah, no, there's there's a lot of talk about the suit of armor and, and how heavy it was and how cumbersome it was and really what a nightmare it was to film with. And, and it is actually all true. Uh, I, but I, it was important for me. I was making a film about about real characters behind enemy lines, you know, uh, of, of an, you know, a Europe that's been overtaken. And I didn't want them to be wearing computer generated suits. You know, the, the go-to in Hollywood would be to, to make computer generated suits and for a good reason, because building suits of armor like this that are actually functioning suits is, is very expensive um, to actually build the suits. And then, uh, when you actually have to shoot with a suit of armor like that, getting everybody into those suits and then the, physically the toll that it takes on your actors, you know, is is extraordinary and the toll it takes on the production is extraordinary. But the the flip side of it, and when people see Edge of Tomorrow, the, the performance that we were able to get out of the suit of armor so that, you know, when you see Tom Cruise on the beach for the first time, you know, on the front lines in that suit of armor, having no idea how to control it. The, the sort of humor and fun of seeing somebody in, in a suit that looks so cool, but he is so inept at controlling it, you could never do that with, with a, a computer generated suit. Um, and actually you couldn't do that with almost any other actor. I mean, that took somebody who has the physicality of Tom Cruise because he's actually puppeteering the suit. You know, he has to physically power the suit, you know, and it's, it's almost a Charlie Chaplin-esque performance. Uh, you know, and we always knew that Tom was, was a brilliant actor, and I knew he was physical, but the fact that he was able to bring so much physical comedy to Edge of Tomorrow was, was, a, was a huge delight for me and, uh, and makes all of the suffering that, that, that we all went through it's completely worthwhile when you see the, the final product on the big screen.